Hey there, Annette from Easel here and welcome to another DIY design tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through how to remove the background from a busy image to make the hero of that photo really stand out, all without using Photoshop. Let's get started. So to get started, let's upload our chosen image into Easel. In the workspace section of the platform, you'll go to My Images and then click the Upload button. Once the image is uploaded, we'll click on this little black arrow here and choose a Remove Background option. Once we proceed, those images will start processing for upload and once ready, a copy will appear here with clear background appended to the file name. Then to use that image in your design, just open up your design canvas, go to the Images tab here on the right, select My Images, which shows all of your image folders, and click to add or drag across to your design. You'll notice that any images with a background removed show as transparent in the sidebar, so you can tell them apart from your standard images. So that's it for how to remove the background, but I've got two great tips for stepping up your designs with these cutout images. For my first design example, I'm going to run through a YouTube thumbnail where I'm going to place an image on the side here and create a glow effect behind the cutout image. So heading over to the right side again, clicking on the images tab and locating my image in my images, I drag and drop my image use those corner handles to expand out the image and drag into place on my design. Now, while it's still selected, I head to the top here and press the duplicate button. And then I click and drag that into exactly the same position as my original layer. Again, while that layer is still selected, I'll go back up the top here, click on the filters tab, drag the brightness all the way to the left and the contrast all the way out to the right. Then to change that from a black layer to a white layer, all I need to do is click on the invert toggle underneath, just like that. Then I'll click on show more to give me more options, head down to blur and just slide that across until I get a bit of a blur happening on the edges of that image. To get a clearer view of that, what I do is drag it underneath on the layers tab here on the right side and I can start to see that glow forming behind my full color image. Now the intensity of that isn't really where I want it to be. So what I'll do is click on that white image layer, head back up to the top and click that duplicate button again so I get another copy. Drag it into place and move it underneath those layers. And what you can see is that's intensified that glow around the side and I'm pretty much ready to go now. So once I'm happy with that design, I can click the download and upload that back to YouTube. For my second design today, I'm showing you how to use that background removed image and placing it inside a shape mask. To get started in Easel, head over to the graphics tab and then click on shape masks. You can then click or drag and drop any of these shape masks onto your design. And what they'll do is actually house your image inside that shape. So I'm looking for something with a little bit of a rounded edge at the bottom. So I'll click to add that to my design, roughly place it where I think my image will sit, head back to my images and drag and drop my trainer image into that mask. So you'll see that it instantly gives it that little bit of a curve down the bottom, as opposed to if you're adding the image normally, it comes in with that square edge that can sometimes be a little bit boring. So I'll get rid of that, move my design back up the top. I can double click to enlarge the shape of my photo within that shape mask and also reposition, crop it off, and then move it back into position. From there, once I'm happy with the look of that template, I can click here to duplicate. So there you have two pages in my design click on that one, go back to my images, my images, drop the trainer on there, double click and enlarge within that shape mask. Also reposition, crop it off. And then I can go through and update all of these trainer details and have two on brand consistent designs that have both got the same background on the images. 
So that's it for today for the background remove tool. I'll be going through how to use these images in other ways in future videos, but in the meantime, drop your questions in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time, happy DIY designing.